Hi, this is Sue with Creations by Sue, and in this video I am going to be using the Brother 1055X and demonstrating how to use a design that is built into the machine and put that design onto a towel with a knockdown stitch underneath it, and this towel will be a personalized towel for a graduate student. So let's get started. The design that is built in the machine that I'll be using today is a baseball player on a baseball. And in the book, it is here, number 021. In order to figure out where I'm going to find that design in the machine, I go over one page to the left and I see they show me the cat in the rectangle. So that is where the design will be. The cat in the rectangle is going to be underneath this butterfly or within this butterfly section and there is that cat. So press on the cat, scroll down to number 021 and there's the baseball player. So I'll click that, press set and I do want to change some colors in this because I am making this for a young person who had red and black on their uniform. So I pressed the design or, sorry, I will go back. Press OK. I'm pressing this icon here, the second one on the second row, first one on the left, a thread spool with some color in, in a square. And I can see here the stitch out's going to start with a baseball white thread, which is fine. Second part is going to be some gold thread for the baseball stitching and then red thread for that stitching. And now we get to the baseball uniform and the design would stitch out in blue, but I wanted to stitch out in a red. So I'm going to find red in the color chart here and here is the red. Press red and now it will stitch out in red. And then the little design on the chest currently is in green and I want that to be in black. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you how to find that in the number section. So I'm going to change from color to number. And my number is going to be 900. So put in 900 because black is 900 in the brother threads. So now you can see that that player has the red outfit with the black insignia on the front. And then the next color, number six, for the bat and the helmet and everything, is currently going to stitch out in a blue, but I want that to stitch out in more of a brown. So I'll go back to the color chart. And I'm going to see that's a light brown. That looks good, I'll use that one. And then the final color being 900 in the black will be the outline and I'm good with that. So I will press okay. And now that is how the color scheme will stitch out for that baseball player. I also want to put a knockdown stitch underneath this, so in order to do that, I will press this little flower, and that takes me out to this screen, and I want the distance to be somewhat um, kind of far out because I'm putting this onto a towel, and I'm not going to do, I'm going to do a stipple stitch underneath this. I don't want to do a full heavy knockdown because the baseball is already pretty heavy in the stitching it looked like to me on that first screen. So I've got it going out pretty far and I'll put that into memory. And now it tells me I can, I can recall that from my design center stamp pattern list so I will press OK. Alright, now what I'm going to do is to um, delete this. Or actually, I'm not going to delete. I'm going to go ahead and add that knockdown right now. So I'll press Add. And we know that it's in my Design Center, so I'll press my Design Center, and here's the stamp. Press that. And up to the flower, which is the fourth icon from the left. And here is my outline. And you can see that I did a previous one with a black uniform and a red insignia, and this time I'm gonna do the red. It doesn't matter, I could use this one, but I'm going to use the one that I just showed you. We'll press that and press OK. And the next thing I need to do is set up the fill inside of here. 
So in order to do that, first of all, I'm going to press this bucket, the middle bucket, because that's going to be my fill. That'll, that'll fill this in once I'll show you that step. And then I need to press this little uh, icon here, third, or go down three over to this one, press that, and I will leave this a red color even though I'm going to be stitching on a gray towel and so I'm going to be using gray thread. But I find that if I turn this to gray or white right now, I really can't see it very well when I use the... Um, when I put it on the screen and I'll show you what I mean about that in just a minute. If I wanted the really um, intense knockdown, I would use this one, but I want the stipple, so I'm going to use that one. If I wanted to choose a different quilt pattern, I would press that one and press select over here and then I have a lot of choices. But I don't want that one right now, I want the stipple, so press that and press OK. And now is where I'm going to put my, just press right here, and that fills it in with that stipple. And it does that because I had that middle paint bucket uh, pressed. All right, and then I'll press next. And this is going to allow me to change the density of this fill, and I want it to be more dense than what it is. So I'll press the middle one there. I want the spacing to be less, so I'm going to go down to 0 0.80 and press OK, and you'll see that decrease. And then I want the run pitch to be lower, which it down to 40. I'm going to try that and see what it looks like. I like that, so I'm going to leave it right there. And I actually like this, but I will try this one, which is the distance apart. And I think I can only go down. Oh, I can. Oh, I can go down to point zero. So we'll see what that looks like. Doesn't look a lot different, so I think I'm going to go back up to the standard and see if that changes it much. It doesn't really, so I'm going to leave it at that. And then I'm pressing set. And now it'll go out to the embroidery screen. And there it is. So right now it's showing up on top of my baseball player. And there is really no way to get it below the baseball player that I know of. So... Either one thing I could do is delete the baseball player and put it back in, you know, bring it back on top of that. Or what I go ahead and do is just um, work within the next screen. Or not this screen, but the following screen, the embroidery screen. I'll show you. And here at the bottom of my screen, uh, of my stitches is going to be that that knockdown. So I am going to have the machine stitch that one first and in order to do that I have to press the plus minus here, the four, fifth icon over from the left. And now I need to go down to this, I think it might be this one again, It's let's take a look. Yes, it's that one. So I will start my stitching at that one and then when it stops, I'll go back to the beginning and I'll go ahead and stitch the rest of this. But I wanted to, but I forgot to show you something and I forgot to do something. So I'm going to go back to my screen before this. And then this fourth box over from the left on the top, press that, go down to that, this, let's see, I'm going to go down to this the, the stitch right before the final stitch, which is that outline of the baseball player, and I'm going to put a stop in there. So when I stitch out the baseball player, it's going to stop before it gets to that stipple on that second time through, and it won't re-stitch the stipple over the top of the baseball player. Press OK, and now ready to embroider, and again starting at the bottom with the stipple stitch. And one thing I also forgot to show you is I need to bring the name in of the person I'm putting this on the towel for. So returning again, that's what's nice about this. You can do a lot of changes in, on the screen of this machine, and I really like that. All right, and I'll bring in that name right now. In order to do that, I need to go to the edit screen. So I press the icon for edit here on the bottom left. 
And back in that screen, I need to press the Add key right, right here, bottom left. And now I'm going to pull the design of Justin off my USB. So I go to the second from the left icon, which is going to be for my USB. And I scroll down looking for the name Justin, which is right there, and press Set. And now I want to move Justin up so I can do any moving over here with these keys. So I'm going to move that up. And you can see that Justin has the um, rectangular box around it. So that tells me that's the one that'll be moving. Now I'm going to switch to the baseball and uh, stipple stitch and move that down. And I only one will move at a time, so I have to grab the baseball then after that and bring that down on the stipple. Now the stipple is still going to show up on top of the baseball, even though right now it looks like it's not. Okay, and that looks good to me. The difference between them looks really good, so I press Edit End. And now I can move this design all together, which works great. For when I am doing placement on the towel. I will go ahead and stitch this design on the towel and then show you the finished product. I do plan to make a short video showing that stitching. For those of you who are interested in watching that, you can look for that video shortly after this one is published and see the, the stitch out. Here is the finished baseball and you can see here underneath the feet the, the stitching, the stipple stitch and how that does hold the nap down and I will go ahead and remove this from the hoop and then show you what it looks like once I have the water soluble stabilizer off of it. Here is the finished towel and you can see that the feet are showing up real nicely outside of that ball and the head also with that underlying stitch. And Justin turned out nicely. I'll do a little close up here for you. And there it is. I do like this design from the Brother PR1055X. I thank you for watching and I ask you to give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and learned something new and be sure to press subscribe if you'd like to be notified of future videos. Happy stitching! Bye!